design is essential to the to the development of planning and and for a couple of reasons one is that actually we need to think about bringing design upstream and strategy making the reason for that is that what planning is actually trying to do is to enable us to meet challenges that appear new. If we didn't need planning, it would be because, in fact, the status quo is fine. And so planning comes into force in a way when we need to innovate. We need to try new ways of bringing actors together to achieve things that haven't been achieved. Now, when, when we look at the role of design in relation to planning then, what it's allowing us to do is to envision both the way in which a, something might be inhabited, a place might be inhabited, but also how it will be built and what are the conflicts and uh, along with that, what are possible opportunities for collaboration. So design has a role then in helping us envision and make choices and consequently to develop strategies. But the second role that design has is that, in fact, we can see that there are always new technologies of building. There are changing attitudes about how we live or what kinds of service delivery mechanisms we're going to be using. And so design also helps us understand how we might innovate in terms of service delivery, work processes, new ways of living. And so we can, we can use design not only to strategize, but to help to envision alternative ways of building. The planning as a field has been transnational from its very beginnings. If we, if we go back to the early 20th century when planning was being institutionalized in Western governments, in, in every single case there were uh, international conferences and people that were always trying to learn from what were considered to be the best cities. Uh, so I, I feel that that tradition has been ongoing and should remain, uh, will remain. It's almost unavoidable that it will. Um, now, the, I think that one of the things that we really want to be thinking about is, the, is, is your other question. Does this mean that we would, we would try to have a one-size-fits-all sort of set of common, uh, common tools? Uh, I'm not so sure that that is the, the necessary conclusion from this. I think that we will continue to experiment. And as we experiment, of course, we experiment in relation to different priorities that are set by different nations. And we, we experiment in ways that reveal a, a diversity of outcomes. And I, I think those will also just as likely lead to divergences along with convergences.